from Fancy PBS comes a show that takes place anywhere in the universe, at any time in the past, present, or future, where anything can happen and none of the continuity matters. Never, ever tell me the rules! Doctor Who. Get ready for a continuation of the original series that picks up after 16 years off the air because all the British nerds who grew up with classic Who finally got old enough to call the shots at the BBC. Now they're taking the stodgy old formula and stretching it into an hour of quirky comedy. I demand to know who you are. I don't know. Improved special effects and enough soap opera pop to choke a telenovela. I think you need a doctor. Por qué, Doctor Kien? Por qué? Meet the doctor. He's not an actual doctor, but an alien who named himself that as a vow. The name I chose is the doctor. It's like a promise you make. Even though the word doctor was created to describe him? The word for healer and wise man. We get that word from you, you know. Yeah, that's not the first paradox you're gonna have to swallow. Paradox. 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 To fans, he's a two-hearted Time Lord who hijacked a faulty TARDIS from the planet Gallifrey, who's sometimes kind of a dick. Funny little human brains. How do you get around in those things? But to casual viewers, he's a funny man with a time machine who takes ladies on adventures, who's also kind of a dick. It's okay, I understand. You're an idiot. Watch him dash through time, equipped with a sonic screwdriver and psychic paper, two devices with the power to speed up the plot. He's dead and the TARDIS. What does it do? Everything. A time machine with the power to break when the plot needs to slow down. Um, stuck. Maybe it'd break less if he didn't keep exploding inside of it. It's just a thought. Watch the Spatial Justice Warrior travel all around the known universe, from the streets of London, to working class British mining towns, to the quaintest little English villages. They're just old people. No, they're very old people. But when the budget allows, he'll fly off to the far reaches of the CGI universe, where everything is still extremely British. Starship UK is Britain, but metal. Yes, the sun never sets on the British Empire. Er, suns. All the suns. God save the Queen! By his side, as always, is his trusty companion, usually a cute girl, because ratings, who after a few seasons of adventure, usually has her life ruined. They ended up imprisoned. They were tortured. My mum, my dad, my sister. No, 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 please, please, no, no, no! If she's lucky, she'll follow along to keep the doctor grounded, give him someone to talk to, and act as his mostly platonic but not always love interest. Do you think I'm pretty? No. They're basically dating without the sex, except for Nardle. That one was purely physical. I'm not just sexy. Experience a franchise that's been running for so long, they built 13 recastings of the main character into the lore, then hit that limit and pulled even more out of a crack. <sighs> As each actor brings a new spin to the alien who's seen the stars, but looks like he's never seen the sun. Whether it's Eccleston, the only doctor of the modern era to regenerate due to creative differences with the BBC, David Tennant, the unquestioned master of staring sadly into the middle distance, Matt Smith, who combined the face of a handsome 12-year-old with the wavy arms of an inflatable tube man. Peter Capaldi, who reimagined the doctor as your uncle who never got married and moved to Vegas in his 40s. I was being all done with the kids there, did you notice? Or Jodie Whittaker, the first female doctor, which, no matter how she performs, is one of the least outrageous things this ridiculous show has ever done. I'm riding a dinosaur on a spaceship! <laughs> But an all-powerful hero demands all-powerful villains to go up against. And the doctor has... Oh! <laughs> some. Because in plenty of episodes, it's a lame monster of the week. Invasion of the very small cues. Or something invisible to save on the effects budget. Uh! Or something we've seen a million times before. But an alien. Ooh. They're not vampires. They're aliens. What is it? A minotaur or an alien? Both. Are you saying bees are aliens? Not all of them. Still, some evildoers are among the best in sci-fi, like the Cybermen, emotionless robots who can only be defeated by feelings. I blew them up with love. The Master, a renegade Time Lord who considers themselves the Doctor's arch nemesis, but is in the middle of this list, so you do the math. Thanks for trying. 
The Weeping Angels, killer stone statues who get less threatening with every appearance until they're about as scary as Ghostbusters 2. The Doctor's greatest rival, Christmas. And the Doctor's other greatest rival, the Daleks. Fleshy blobs stuffed into cramped metal homes who spend their entire life shouting commands at people they hate. Do not interrupt! Do not interrupt! So, internet commenters? Hear me talk now. Follow along on the series-spanning arcs that will delight fans and confuse newcomers, like the seasons where the world keeps ending. But just kidding, he can reverse the planet's rotation like Superman. Planet Earth restored. The seasons where the Doctor falls in love with his companion, only to lose her for all eternity. Just kidding, he'll make a copy of himself and they'll live happily ever after. The seasons where the Doctor copes with the inevitability of his own death. I'm dying! J.K. Rowling, he'll live as long as the show needs him to. Well, I suppose one more lifetime won't kill anyone. Or the seasons where he's haunted by the knowledge that he's triggered the genocide of his own people. Look up, genocide. You see a little picture of me there? Or maybe he's just kidding and he actually saved everyone but doesn't remember it. You're not actually suggesting that we change our own personal history. Sure, that'll work. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, whatever. So run down your nearest hallway. Pull a plan out of your arse. But I've got a plan. I have got a plan. Yeah, of course I have a plan. And start spouting techno babble like the universe depends on it. Wave of Ancacidine energy. Macro transmission of a K-filter wavelength sticks it into a living receptacle and then it feeds off the remaining Artran energy. Because you're about to get some of the greatest standalone episodes in sci-fi history. With a bunch of momentum-killing serialization crammed in to service the diehards. But after all is said and done, let's still try to be more like the Doctor. Never cruel or cowardly. Never be cruel, never be cowardly. Just enjoy the ride and let who do who. No fro jo ko fo to to. No bo ho sho ko ro to so. Boka to zuko bafo pa jo. Jeez, you make it hard to love you sometimes. Starring The Leftover, Bad Wolf, Bad Wolf, What You Gonna Do, Scary Poppins, Show Me Your Bow Face, The Appearance of the Repeated Meme, Save. Martha. Just the temp. Harry and Ron at the same time. Twelfth Angry Man. I want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. The Mrs. Frizzle. Oots. Just kind of era. We Billy Knew Ye. Master of None. Spin Doctors. The Great Glass Doctor Vader. That time Rose was on Weakest Link. You are the Weakest Link. Oh my god, they killed Rory! You bastards! Stop it, you'll die! Yeah, twice. I'm sorry, Rory, but you just died. The gravestone here for someone with the same name as me. That thing Tenant's voice does. Yeah? Why do they keep going? Any chance for a cup of tea? You wanna go to the game? What we came for? Every British actor, Harry Potter Division. Every British actor, Game of Thrones Division. Every British actor, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter division. Every other British actor. Every British historical figure. Winston Churchill, how are you? Oh, hello, dear. What's up? Queen Elizabeth the First. Charles Dickens. Queen Victoria. Agatha Christie. Your William Shakespeare. Extremely long vigils. I will guard this body for a thousand years. 36 years, three months, four days of solitary confinement. 2,000 years I waited for you, you did it to me again! How long? Four and a half billion years. And Doctor Who? Doctor Who. Doctor Who? 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 Days of our lives, a future past. Phew, that was a lot of who to get through. It wasn't so bad. Now let's see what that classic series is all about. The Great One is all knowing. All praise to the Great One. Ugh, oh, new timeline, new timeline. Want to see where the adventures of the Doctor all began? Then click above to see our trailer for classic Doctor Who, spanning decades of television that happened before the reboot. Grab a jelly baby and check it out. It's a fez. I wear a fez now. Fezzes are cool. It's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff.